Welcome to Friday, July 17th, 2020. Typical. Typical is the best way to describe the weather coming this weekend and into next week. When you look at the calendar with what the weather pattern is going to be like in terms of temperatures and increasing monsoonal moisture, it's really about what you'd expect heading into the second half of July. It's going to be very warm through the weekend. We don't see record breaking temperatures. It's just going to be hot July weather. Some monsoon moisture will keep thunderstorms around this weekend, especially in Colorado, Utah, the Four Corners area, also far extreme southern areas of Wyoming. Long term remains promising for better rain chances. Our confidence is getting better that the end of July, August, the start of August, will bring some needed rain to the Intermountain West and the Western High Plains. Will it be enough to erase all the dryness we've had since spring? No but it's gonna help. Let's look at current fire dangers before you head on out for your upcoming weekend. If you're gonna be recreating outdoors, you can see that fire dangers remain quite elevated, especially in Wyoming, back into the parts of the desert southwest here. We've seen some improvement in fire danger conditions across Colorado because that monsoon moisture has brought some rain producing showers and thunderstorms over the last few days to this part of the United States right here. So there's been a little bit of help, but we're still looking at elevated fire dangers. Keep that in mind as you head out this weekend. Now, I want to show you a satellite image here, which is designed to capture water vapor. Or when we show you these precipitable water maps, we're showing you where there's just more water in the air available to tap into when it comes to these monsoonal thunderstorms developing during the summer season. So we've got Arizona here. Here's the Four Corners area to give you reference. Here's Texas, here's New Mexico, here's Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Colorado. Anywhere you see yellow here, the air is really, really dry, bone dry air. You can see it going back into the California. Anywhere you see blue here or white, you can see there's higher humidity air. See this arch of this higher humidity air coming up into Colorado? This is why there's been an increase in thunderstorm activity in this area here over the last few days. Now notice right here is the Wyoming border. Notice it's just, just getting to the Wyoming border and really not much further north than that. But this is a typical situation. You get a tongue of moisture coming in surrounded by tongues of really, really dry air. But within this band here is where you're going to get your afternoon and evening thunderstorms. So this is what we're going to focus in on with this podcast. This is the precipitation forecast through Sunday afternoon. You can see that underneath that shield of moisture, there's rain and thunderstorm chances in those very dry pockets of air I showed you on the satellite imagery. Look, there's really nothing. That's why you look for that tongue of moisture. Notice that west of the divide into Wyoming, still really, really dry. But along the front range and the mountains of Colorado, there's going to be some showers and thunderstorms over the next few days. Now let's see what transpires with that precipitable water, that moisture to help generate thunderstorms. This is where we're going to be this afternoon. You can see this green patch that really lines up very well with where that uh, satellite photo was. This is today, so you can expect showers and thunderstorms in the white and green areas, lesser chances in those brown areas. This is for Sunday. Notice there's a good swath. The moisture gets shunted a little bit more east of the divide, but Sunday is probably going to be an active day of thunderstorms in this area here, while west of the divide, central and western Wyoming, central and western Colorado, the air dries out briefly. However, watch what happens during the second half of next week. This is for Wednesday. We see an arch of subtropical moisture coming in all the way back into Oregon, and then it's going to go like this. It's going to head eastbound. This is Wednesday, so thunderstorms pick up. This is Thursday, thunderstorms, Friday, thunderstorms, Saturday, thunderstorms, Sunday, thunderstorms. Notice how we put together several days starting with Wednesday, but I also expect showers and thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday, but it's really Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where we have a nice tongue of subtropical moisture coming across the Rockies and into the high plains that should give us showers and thunderstorms. And notice central and western Wyoming right here and right here that really need the rain, well, there's going to be some better chances coming. 
And if we were to go forward over the next two weeks, this takes us through August 2nd, you can see a lot of red, you can see a lot of yellow, a lot of blue. So we're finally getting into some better rain producing thunderstorms in the inner mountain west over the next couple of weeks. You gotta take this map with a grain of salt. But what it does show is a maturing of the monsoon moisture flow finally for the last 10 days of July, probably the first two weeks of August. Have a great weekend ahead. We'll see you on Monday.